about something that's been really pissing me off lately about WWE. What is it this time, you say? Well, let's talk about the New Day beating Demolition's title run, tag team title run. And I do say beating with that emphasis like this. One million, or whatever the fuck Dr. Evil said. WWE is saying that New Day is this close to beating Demolition's record of longest days holding the tag team titles. What's the bullshit they say? The number of days that Demolition has held the goddamn titles? 698, is that what they say? Yeah, 698 days in total that they held those titles. But wait, Demolition hasn't held the goddamn tag team titles for 698 days straight. What WWE isn't telling you, because they think we're fucking morons, which they always do, because Vince McMahon thinks we're fucking stupid. Admit it, Vince McMahon thinks we're fucking stupid. We, he just says stuff, and we swallow it. Although the marks swallow it, because they're fucking dumb shit. Okay, so in total, for their one title reign, because that's what they're making it seem, making it sound like, that one of their title reigns lasted 698 days. They haven't said all three of their title reigns, they just say one in total. So, basically they're saying one of their title reigns. No, they're combining all three of their titles and saying that it's one big title run, which is complete bullshit to begin with. Cause, goddamn, if it wasn't for my mild OCD, this wouldn't be bothering me, but it does. Their first title reign, back in March 27, 1988, their first title reign lasted 478 days. Their first one. Their second title reign in October 1989 lasted 72 days. And their third and final title reign on April 1st, 1990 lasted 148 days. Can you tell me which one of those title reigns is 698 days? Because not one of those ones are there. They're combining all three, which in total is 698 days. So they're blowing smoke out their ass. Because the only tag team... To, okay, now we get to something different. Because Demolition held the original tag team title belts. New Day are not holding the original tag team belts. They are holding the belts that Chris Benoit... Oh, I said his name... Oh my God. And Kurt Angle won the first ever Tag Team Champions in which those titles were won on October 20th, 2002 when SmackDown, the first ever Raw and SmackDown draft happened. Yeah, when the first ever Raw and SmackDown thing happened. Where Stephanie McMahon was SmackDown GM and now she's Raw GM. No, she's Raw Commissioner or whatever. She was a SmackDown GM and brought in the tag team titles. Those are the ones New Day are holding. Not the original ones, which they're saying on TV that Demolition had, which is complete bullshit to begin with. It's pissing me off. All right, the only tag team title reigns that they beat for those fucking titles are Fuck, that's the wrong one. I'm doing it raw, guys. I'm doing it raw. Are Brian Kendrick and Paul London, which those tag team titles lasted. God damn, where is that shit? Oh, there it is. Paul London and Brian Kendrick held those titles, so for. 331 days, and they only held them once. So New Day, hold on. 
We're not done yet. How many days have they said New Day have held the tag team titles in total for their own, this reign only? Because that's what they're saying. They're saying New Day has held the titles for 508 days. No, they haven't for this specific title reign. New Day has won his tag team titles twice. The first time, April 26th, 2015, they held those for 49 days. And now their second title reign, which is technically, they have held those titles 457 days. And yes, they beat out Paul London and Brian Kendrick. So they know, they're officially done. They held a new record of these specific tag team titles. They're not holding the other titles which Demolition had. But no, WWE is saying that they did. Fuck that shit. No, they're not. They haven't beaten. They have not beaten. They're not going to beat Demolition's record because they're not holding those titles. Fuck. If it wasn't for my mild OCD, this, would, this is bugging the shit out of me. This is why I had to do my research. Because I'm going, Demolition didn't hold those titles that long. And hell, Demolition didn't even hold these titles that New Day are holding. But yeah, Vince McMahon and WWE are saying they did. And you know the Marks are going to believe that shit. Because the Marks are the dumbest motherfuckers alive. Uh, it's bad enough they're saying Ric Flair is a 16-time world champion. Which he is not. He is more than that, which I will do another video at a different time because I'm getting on and on about this. But in, in conclusion, WWE is full of bullshit lies. We all know this. They always do this. But fuck, I just had to get this off my chest because this shit has been bugging me for way too long. So yeah, New Day has not beaten Demolition's record. They are not whatever tag team champion title reigns they had. I mean, title days. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. The days that they have is not really what they have, and neither is Demolitions, because they, WWE is combining all three of their title reigns. The only title reigns they beat is Ball. Ball? Paul London and Brian Kendrick. That's it. We're done. There's nothing else to do. Unless some other tag team wins the titles after, and they beat New Day's record. But no, these are from 2002. They're not the old school tag team titles that we know of. So fuck that shit. I'm not buying it. It still pisses me off that every fucking Monday Night Raw, they're saying Demol they're beating Demolition's record, which they're not. They are so not. They're not even the same league tag team titles as they are. It's not even the same goddamn titles, what I'm saying. Anyways, that's it for now. Take it easy, wrestling fans. Bye.